Hi everybody, hope everyone's doing well. Well today it is March 11th, 2024 and I'm here to do my Let's Talk Health Quest update for you guys. All right, so I will have a weigh-in for you because I did weigh-in yesterday and uh, so I have my latest weigh-in for you. Also, we're gonna have a haul. I have some clothing hauls and things like that. And then uh, in my last Let's Talk video, which I will link right here, okay, I talked about a tool that I was incorporating and why I was incorporating it. And, uh, and we'll revisit a little bit of that. But uh, in this video, we're gonna revisit that and we're gonna revise that a little bit and I'm gonna share with you why. But right now, just honestly, right now, what I feel, what's going on with me, um, like I said, I, I, I encourage you to watch that video because it talked about stress and how it plays significantly in my life. But right now, my life, I think it's taken on a little bit of a normal routine again. I'm finding my routine. I'm finding that again, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping, uh, I'm going out a little bit more, um, you know what I mean? Like the day don't feel so heavy. And for me, it's surrounded about stress, around stress, how I deal with stress, how I respond to stressful situations. And uh, right now it seems like the waters are a little bit calm. I will say, I will say there is a situation that has to do with a, a family member who I love, absolutely love with all my heart and soul. They're going through a little bit of a hard, hard time in their health. And yes, of course, that is worrisome to me. Um, and so there is that always weighing heavy on me. Um, but right now, everything is going okay. But um, other than that, here at home, everything seems to just be taking on a really normal feeling, you know, and I'm starting to feel optimistic about things. That here. So let's go ahead and talk about really, really quickly about in my last video, how I talked about the tool that I brought up, was gonna bring in. And uh, actually, let me go get the other, the other tool. Hold on a minute. So this is the tool that I started to incorporate. It is the ketone test strips uh, designed for ket ketogenic diet. You get 200 strips and this is how it looks. And basically, you just take a strip, okay? And at the end of the strip, there is this little area there, see it? And uh, I just pee and then I put this in the, the stream and then it'll change color. Depending on the color, we'll determine if, they pick, if it picks up any ketones in your urine. Um, and the larger the particle, the more, um, the, the more you're in ketosis. And that's what you wanna do when you're on a ketogenic diet is to get into ketosis, meaning you're burning your fat as fuel, okay? Um, if you're here, if you're here, you have no trace at all. If you're here, you, you're, you're good. <laughs> you got, you're in ketosis. Um, I, was, I was doing that now maybe about a week and a half, two weeks, and it was just not showing any ketones at all. I mean, it wasn't even like there was a faintness of the second, this color right here. It wasn't even that. I wasn't even getting a little hue of this color. I mean, it was just straight up this sort of uh, yellow, beigey color. I mean, it was just through the whole strip. And so the reason why I got these was because my theory was that because I'm so stressed out and I'm doing keto so well, I mean, I'm on point when it comes to keto. I mean, 15 grams, 18 grams, sometimes less. And I'm the scale is not going down. The scale is staying the same. And it's pretty much how I did the math on it. I had been on, or I've been on uh, the ketogenic diet now for nine months. And I'm losing about 2.66 on average pounds a month. Um, and I can tell you a, a thing for me is stress. It's always been the key thing for me to reduce. And so I've been under a lot of stress and it, like that video, we'll talk about my son. I'll put another video here where it talks more in depth about what happened with my son and how extremely, extremely stressed out. Anyway, I decided to get this as a tool to sort of gauge you know, what the, my tool of the scale, right? Cause the scale is a tool as well to gauge what the, the weight, 
the scale is saying and maybe what my ketones are saying because I'm doing ketovore 100% more than I've ever done while, you know, doing keto. Uh, and I've lost a total of about 25 pounds for nine months. But the way I'm doing keto, I'm telling you, I should be down way more. Um, I'm, I'm in the 180, um, what is it? 182 mark. And in my opinion, I said that in the video, I should be about 170 something. I should see the 170s and I haven't seen the 170s in eons. Uh, I don't even know how long, I don't even know how long I've been in the 170s. It's 2024. Um, maybe, maybe 2020, I don't know, 2003, maybe around there, close to there. I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, the point is I decided to grab these to see what's going on. If the stress is really affecting, um, my inability to burn fat as fuel, because you know, when you're so stressed out and I'm, I'm chronically stressed person, um, there's just a lot of cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone. Insulin is a hormone and they are what stops the fat burning from occurring and actually they promote fat storing. I just decided to get this as a tool to see if my ketones, what I'm registering, am I in ketosis? Okay, so in the last video, I got a comment from a wonderful friend of mine who's been with me since the beginning of my channel. Um, she no longer does YouTube videos, um, but she watches mine and I follow her on Facebook as well. And, uh, she told me and she made a comment and she said that she thinks that, oh, wait a minute, before we get into that, let me go ahead and show you a clip here. And in this clip, you're going to see that on Sunday, when I did the strips on Sunday morning, was it my first urine? Yeah, it was my first urine. Uh, there was a slight change, but I'm going to let you see the video and then uh, we'll come back and talk about it. All right, guys, it is a very faint color. Now, what got me really excited about it was because all the other strips, like I said, I've been doing this maybe now close to two weeks. They were just plain as day, plain as day. Like there was no dark, dark area, plain as day. It was that color. Okay. No denying it. And in this one, when it first started to change its color, originally, I started to see the hue of pink a slight hue of pink and then that's where it ended. And that's the first time that strip has even got to that point. So I can tell you that it's marking traces, 0.5 uh, of a trace, which is very, not even considered a small particle, but they're, they're, they're there. And that was the first time that, that that's happened. So that was very exciting. But anyway, anyway, um, my friend, back to my friend, she had said to me, you know, I have a feeling you might be in somewhat in ketosis. Um, the strips are good, but if you want a better, more accurate reading for yourself, she says, I would recommend the blood testing of your ketones. And I thought, oh, okay. That, you know, that piqued my interest because that's more accurate. And you do it in the same way as you would if you did your glucose for, for when you're diabetic and you do that. So I went online, I went into Amazon. I got one that did both glucose and ketones and I can reorder the strips. You know, the strips are what is more expensive, but let me show you what I got. I got the Medilax, Medilax, I believe this is the brand. And I'll link it down below. I'll link this one here. I, it's not sponsored. I'm not going to get anything. If you link, it's not an affiliate link is what I'm saying. So if you link it, if you go to it, um, I'm not going to get anything. So yeah, it's just sharing with you guys what I got. So it's the blue coast blue, blue. Well, I'm looking at the blue blood glucose and the uh, B ketone meter, Medilax, model G 
0.5-421. All right. And again, this is just a tool for me, you guys. Okay. This is just a tool. So what it is, you get this little pouch here, just like if you were, you know, with your, the diabetic one. So it looks, it looks just like that. And so, um, this one, there was like a 20% off of it that day, but here it is. And then you have the little thing where you put the, um, the Lancet needle. It's right here. And then you, you know, and then the pink, you get pink strips. This one is for the glucose when I want to check my blood sugar. And then this one would be for the ketones. Now I will tell you right now, I haven't used it and I'm going to tell you why in a second, but my friend highly recommended that I do it this way. Um, um, the reason why I did not use this today, cause I was, I, uh, this arrived yesterday, Sunday while I was out, uh, it arrived. I was going to use it this morning and I opted not to, I did do the keto, the, this, I did this, uh, it went back down to, um, to this, it, it went back down plain as day, not even that, that little light coloring. Okay. The reason why is because yesterday I went to go visit my family member in the hospital and then it was tough. And then after that, I went to go run some errands. My son needed some things and da, 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 da. We got things that we needed to do. And then towards the end of the evening, um, I don't know if it was a time change too. We were a little bit off, <laughs> you know? And, um, anyway, uh, we did go to Raising Cane's. We did. Um, it was the first time since that, the, the, um, day before my son went into the center, which was the 13th of February was the last time. And before that it had been months. Okay. Um, but we shared a meal like we typically do. We shared a meal. I only had three strips and then some fries and then a diet Coke. So I opted not to do it this morning because, um, with this, you only get 10 strips of the, what you put into the machine. Uh, you only get 10 of each. So you get 10 of the glucose, 10 of the ketone strips. So I'm going to be ordering, um, I should have, I should have done it then and there, but I'm going to be ordering a full, a full case of the ketone strips. So that's why I didn't do it because I did go out to eat. It was the first time since, uh, February 13th. So I will do this probably, uh, today's Monday. I'll probably do this. I'll try Wednesday. I'll try Wednesday. Um, and then I'll come back and let you know how that all is. All right. So that is that guys. So thanks to my friend. She told me she recommended I do this. So I'm very, very curious to, to see where I'm at. I really am. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about, uh, what I've been doing to alleviate some of the stress and I'm actually enjoying this. So we're going to have a little bit of a haul. But when in the video, I talked about belly dancing in that other video, uh, I talked about belly dancing and how, I really have been wanting to, to, to try that. Now it's been about a good eight years since it's peaked to my interest. Um, and, and I always wanted to go take classes or do something like that. In that video, I had said that I wanted to do some belly dancing and, uh, I was going to bring you guys along. Well, um, I have, I have started, uh, to belly dance at home. I found somebody on YouTube that I really, really enjoy. And I have been doing the routines on YouTube and, uh, for three days now I have been doing it. She has like one to two minute tutorials on one specific move. And then she has another playlist where you're doing an actual fitness. It's more of a fitness, not a choreograph dance. So far, what I find about it that again, I, I, I've never did ballet dancing. I just thought that I would get into it because I love dancing. Number one, I love dancing. You know, growing up, you guys, it was very hostile environment. It really, really was. It was a tough, tough, tough environment. And one of the things that I did to sort of relieve, alleviate all of that chaos that was happening around my home in, in my home, I would dance in my room as, as a young girl, I would dance as I got into my preteens, I would dance. And then I got into my teenage years, I would dance. And, uh, my mom had a full size bed for me. And, uh, I asked her one day, I said, mom, can you buy me a, a day bed? Please, please, please buy me a day bed. And I wanted the day bed because I wanted more room. And she did. And it's about the same amount of room space that I have here that when she bought me my day bed, 
that I have back here to work with. And what I would do is I would literally take a notebook. I would take a notebook, you know, just a regular notebook. And then I would name my moves. I would name them. And then I put definitions to them. And I would come up with choreographed dancing. And then I put my music and every day I would add on to this routine and it, I would end up drenched. But this is the way that I escaped, helped deal with the chaos around me in my home um, was dancing. So anyway, belly dancing is something I started up because I wanted to work on my abs. You know, I, I don't mind the planks. I don't mind the push-ups. I don't mind the ab work. But I thought I wanted a fun way to really work my abs. But what was what was interesting and what I found as I'm doing these things is how she, the lady that I watch, she is really telling you how belly dancing is very cognitive dancing. And that really, I was like, what? And she says, because you have to know, you have to put a lot of things together with your mind. Like your mind has to be like, okay, your chest is up, your your, your belly button in, you know, shoulders down. And then you don't want to move on a lot of the moves. You don't want to move the upper movement. You just, or, or yeah, when you're moving your waist, you don't want to move this. And there's just a lot to think about when you're doing a move. So it's, it's very mind to body, mind to action. And uh, that is fantastic for when you're getting older and especially, and back to improved health. Uh, another channel that I do cardio and strength training with, and her name is Jules. She's a proponent of strength training with cognitive exercises. So, you know, balancing yourself on one knee, walking like a sort of a tightrope. And these are all things to keep the mind active, thinking, keep you in balance so you don't fall as much. So I'm just like, wow, this is really is very, very cognitive thinking because who there is a move where you, you, you rotate your waist, you rotate your waist and she gives you visuals so that you, if you're a visual learner, you just visual a circle and, um, and then she moves you the other way. And I tell you what, there's one way I could do the other way. I'm like all discombobulated. So I told myself, you know what, I'm going to practice a little bit and then I'm going to bring you guys along. I'm going to show you, but let me show you what I did by it. Okay. Cause I've already learned some things that you need. Now you don't need this, but I got a scarf. Let me open it. Now this is the first time I've opened it. Okay. This is, I, I just took it out of the bag with you guys. So I got this yesterday too. And this one has sequence and the coins. Wow, it's heavier than I thought, you guys. Now, this is chiffon. Look, let me get up. Let me get up. Okay, my, this has a tie front, but anyway, let me back up. Of course, I would do it better. I'll do it better than this. Oh, my gosh. The girls had, one of the girls had this one. See? It was funny because on one of the uh, routines, because I I'm watching the videos. I'm, sometimes I'm just sitting here watching. I just learn, like just picking up on some things, keynotes, so that when I get up to do it, you know, it's I it have some instruction to it. Uh, and she says that when she hears the coins all move at the same time, she says we're, we're, we're everybody's in rhythm. She says it's good, it's good. Anyway, I got this one this black one. And then I have what's coming in is a white one and my favorite color, yellow, <laughs> like my water bottle, yellow. Uh, and I'll be getting more. I, I didn't want to get crazy though. I didn't want to get too, too crazy. I, I, I wanted to sort of, you know, you know, cause there's so many colors, so many styles, some with fringes like tassel. Um, and then the way she, oh my gosh, the way she does her um, aerobic outfits. They're, they're not, um, uh, belly dancing per se attire, but the way she dresses herself up, it's so pretty. And then the people in the back, like, you know, cause it's a studio. She actually teaches this in Florida, but she records for YouTube. Anyway, I got this now because you do it barefooted, uh, pr pretty much. Um, I was slipping 
and sliding. <laughs> I couldn't, like when we plie down, I, I can't, I can't hold my, myself together. So I got these socks and these came yesterday. So I haven't used any of this stuff as I'm talking to you. Um, I haven't used them because they just came last night and yesterday and I was out all day. But anyway, I got these. These are like uh, Pilates um, workout socks, if you will. And then you put your foot in and then your, your toe goes like that, sort of like that. Your big toe goes here. And then um, you have the sort of Mary Jane sort of elastic strap and then that. And so last night uh, I put one of them on uh, before I took a shower. I had one of them on and I didn't have, you know, on the other one. So I did the plie. I went down and sure enough, this, this gripped and my other foot was, you know, um, tr trying to slip. So I figure with this, you could really do the moves because when you're trying to concentrate on so much, especially new, I'm new, you know, I, I'm new, new, new. Uh, you're trying to pay attention. You're trying to, to, you know what I mean? Keep up. Good thing with her. She goes real slow, but there's another added thing where you're trying to not slip. And so hopefully this will prevent that from, I'm sorry guys, I got a call. I had to take it. The other thing really, really quickly, what I liked about her and I can't link her channel, um, I, with the new terms of service with YouTube, um, you can't link the videos. Um, you can't, but I can at her. So I will at her name down there on the bottom for you guys. And also, uh, improved health as well. Absolutely love her for like purposeful movement throughout my day. And then my strength training, I'm still going to do my strength training. The other thing that I really am enjoying is you, you're learning about a little bit about the different dances, uh, as to, in terms of how she said that there are African and Car Caribbean dances and how with them, it's different somewhat the same, but with them, like the glutes are what's more prominent is what you stick out more. And with the Arabic dancing, you, you're more with your belly button in and tucked in. So everything is more with the pelvic, you know? And so she, I love how she explains things like that, you know? And then she also explains like when we're hearing a certain music, what, where it's coming from in the Middle East. She said, this is more, some of them she'll say, this is more from Turkey. It's more urban and Turkey. And then the other one, she did one from Egypt. And she said, this is more traditional um, music. And then she did one from Cairo. And then with Cairo, was it Cairo? Um, it was very much mainstream, more modern, she said. And so she used, she incorporates a lot and she tells you, you know, from, from what, part of the Middle East. It's, it's from sort of say, all right, we're going to move on from that guys. I, as you can tell, I'm very, very excited. I really, really love it. It puts a smile on my face all the time, but it is a workout. I mean, do not, do not <laughs> misunderstand. I burned about 500 calories between a, a Jules purposeful movement, a walk, a walk. I did about 20, 30 minutes of walk, 40 minutes, maybe a walking and then I went into the belly dancing and that belly dancing because your arms are always up high. So your heart rate is more, um, you're trying to keep your inner thighs together while you're moving your pelvic bone. I mean, it is so much that my, my calorie burn is pretty intense, but I'm going to bring you guys along. We are going to do it. I'm going to record something this week for you guys. I'm definitely going to bring you guys along. Yeah. Uh, I, my daughter comes in the room while I'm doing it. I go, honey, honey, can you tell me if I'm doing the move? Right. And she says, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she also says real quick, um, the, the lady I watch, she tells you to do it in the mirror, do it in the mirror, practice in the mirror, watch yourself. And then she says, turn around, don't see yourself and then do it, but do it mind to muscle, mind to muscle and try to keep the same rhythm and the same move. Um, because you want to do it not by looking repeating somebody's move. You want to do it by your own memory. So she recommends you look away from the mirror, look away from the, her even on the monitor. She says, put your back towards me. And, and she tells you when to do that. So it's really nice. Really, really good. All right. 
Let me bring the clothes All so right. I can show. I've been going to thrifting. I've been thrifting a lot uh, because I've been going to see about getting some new workout clothes. Some of the workout clothes that I have, you guys, it's been from like 2014, 2013, and they're still relatively good, but you know, it's time for a change. So, and then, oh gosh, okay, <laughs> we're gonna go back to this, but the way she dresses, um, it's with, it's with workout clothing, but it's, it's a little bit stylish. I'm not comfortable wearing it that yet. Oh my God, a lot of belly roll. Uh, and, in fact, she even says though, jiggle, jiggle your belly, jiggle it. You know, it's, it's so cool. You know how there's different shapes and sizes behind her, the dancers, the, the people who are taking her classes. It's really, really nice to see that. But anyway, um, Eventually, I'll get to that kind of wear. But for right now, I am looking to get different uh, workout clothes. I found these. These are from Max Core Extra Large. Um, I don't know where they sell Max Core, but these feel like skin. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but these feel like so thin fabric, but well made fabric. It moves this way and it moves this way. So I haven't worn these, but these absolutely feel like they would just really hug your skin in a good way though, that they would move with you. So I got these and everything here uh, were $7.99, but I got them half off because I bought the color of the week, okay? I can't remember exactly, but their, their workout clothes are on about $7.99 now. I know, crazy, but yeah, I got that. This one I got a couple of weeks ago. I just forgot to show you. And then I did an exercise video not too long ago. Um, in the last Let's Talk video, I did a little bit of a workout in there. Those were brand new too for me. I, I got them from the Goodwill. Now, these were $6.99 and I paid half, of the, half off. And this I just bought this past weekend. Now, this one is from oh, Aerie, A-E-R-I-E. Um, this is the chill play and move extra large. Um, I got these now again, I haven't washed these or anything, but they have this sort of eyelet pattern on the side of the leg. I thought this would be really, really cute when I do my belly dancing with you guys. Um, picture it, picture it with a nice black top. Or, or with the yellow one. I can't wait to get the yellow belt, the yellow one. Oh, in the back here, it has uh, chill and play, like a little reflective thing. But I got this one. I got this one, and it has the pockets, which is really, really nice. So I got these. Again, half off, so I'm going to wash this. The other thing I picked up was this one for, now this one was $5.99, half off. I don't know what's the rhyme or reason to some of them. I know some Nike ones are like $9.99. I do know that. Now this is hard candy and I'm going to assume this is maybe a Walmart brand. I don't know, but um, yeah, I think it is. Extra large, uh, 1517, which is what the sizing it is. Uh, but look at the camo guys, look at the camo. And then on the side, it has some ruching right here on the sides. So I think that's going to be nice. Now this one might be a little big. I don't know. It kind of feels like it. So before I take the tag off, um, I'm going to try it on, but, um, yeah, but I love the camo, the pink camo. That's nice. So going to wash that if it fits. And then I found these, these are from Calvin Klein. This is an extra large. This is very urban kind of pattern, but they're like a biker short, which is going to be very, very nice for the for the summer, um, let me open it. So, and this one was $6.99 and again, half off because it was white, but I got these. Again, I'll try the, all this stuff on before I, I take the tag off because I have time still to return it. And as far as tops, this was the only top that I found. Um, this is from Work It Out T Extra Extra Large, and I love it. I love this color. It's really pretty. It's a little bit on the short side, believe it or not. And you know, I don't mind them <sighs> a little crop. That's fine. I don't mind that. Um, but I'll try this on again before I take the tag off. 
and this one was $5.99 and uh, I got it 50% off. Yeah, I like it. And this one feels very, very soft, very, very thin, very, very movable. Um, but yeah. And that was it. I know this is a long video, a lot to talk about, a lot to share with you guys. We'll come back definitely this week and I will come back with the reading, even if it's real quick. And then I will also come back with me doing some belly dancing. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I was so sore the next day. Oh my God. My rib cage was so, so sore. And believe it or not, my neck, my neck was sore. And I was like, why is my neck so sore? It's because you have to pretend you have an apple right here. You have to pretend and you have to like, you know, and then move like your torso and like your whole neck stays. But I'm too stiff because I'm trying to think of so many things that I'm, you know what I mean? Like I'm <laughs> kind of loosen up. Anyway, that's it, guys. That is everything. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that did we get into the weigh in? Oh, my gosh. Let's do the weigh in real quick and then I'll let you guys go. I just. Oh my. Last time I came to you guys, it was uh, the 3rd of March and I came in at 182.6 and I'll put it right here what I weigh. One eighty two point six. It is the same and I will take it guys. I really, really will. I will take that. But um, I really want to see some 170 numbers, but this is good. I feel like my body's settling in. It's, 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 it's finally feeling better, less stress, more calm, having fun with the dancing things in my home is calming down. My son is doing amazing. And so I'm hoping to see that my theory is true. And now if sticking to keto, reducing the stress, the scale will tell me a different story. So that's what I'm hoping for. All right, my friends, now I'll let you guys go. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you real soon this week, this week. All right, take care. Bye.